In this video, we're going to build a LLM agent from scratch. This agent is entirely written with vanilla OpenAI. We are only using the SERP API Google search. Anyway, like I said, this is pretty exciting. Let's just run this and see how it works. We're going to start with a question. If copper cows constant was in inches, how many copper cows constant tall is the Empire State Building? We have three tools. One is Google search, the other is a math function, and the other is to save to CSV file. Here we go, we're starting to get a thought. I need to find the height of the Empire State Building. It does search, height of Empire State Building. It gets, we're also keeping track of tokens. 1500, 15,000 inches. Now I need to find the value of Capricars constant. It already knows it. It uses a calculator divided it's to 2.4. Now it's going to respond to the human and then it responds just like this. And then now we can save the file and it picks the right function and it saves it to responses.csv. Code files for this project, along with 70 plus other projects, is available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Also, check out EchoHive AI Academy at echohive.live. Here you can find all the videos that I have created. Take a look at their descriptions. Find the download code download links. You can search them as well. And there are some links to some apps that I've built. It's echohive.live. We will review the flow chart to see how the system works. And we will review the code in detail. But I did get inspired by this person. I'll put the link in the description. You can read about it here. Also, you will need a SERP API API key. if You want to do Google search, but that is not absolutely necessary. So how this works is that we start with an initial message and some tools that are defined like functions. And we have a system message and we insert both the descriptions of the tools and the initial message to the system message. And then we send it to the agent, in this case, GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm sorry, GP, I did just did use GPT-4, but you can use 3.5 Turbo as well. Anyway, so then we get a response. Response comes in as thoughts at first. So the agent ends up having some thoughts. And after that, it decides on an action and an action input. It decides whether to use a tool or to interact with the user. If it decides to use a tool, then we actually grab one of the tools. It, dec it actually sends us which tool to use. We use that tool, we get an observation from that tool, and we feed that back into the agent. Then agent decides again if it is the final answer by give, giving us another action or to use another tool. And this cycle continues until when it has its final answer, then it interacts with the user and the user responds. It goes back to the agent and the cycle repeats. The code is not very complicated. The only requirements are OpenAI, tick token to be able to count tokens, Pi expressions evolved to do mathematical calculations. This is going to be our calculator and term color to be able to print colorful output to the terminal. We are importing OpenAI, of course. We are importing SERP API wrapper from Langchain. I guess you do need Langchain if you want to use SERP API. I just did add it over here. That is only for SERP API Google search. Anyway, we are importing parser from PyExpression eval. PyExpression eval is a Python mathematical expression evaluator. So it just pretty much does math. Okay, you can pip install it like this. Then we are importing term color and then tick token. To count tokens, we are determining the encoding type, which is CL100K base or chat models. We do set a Boolean for show token consumption. See. You see this token used this time and total token used so far. So we are, if this were to be false, then we won't see this. You can set that. We are setting our OpenAI API key. I'm grabbing it directly from my user environment variables, or you're going to have to set it right here, right here. And now this is our prompt. This is the system message. Response to the user by absolutely adhering to the following format. You have access to the following tools, search calculator, save response to CSV and response to human. And then options is going to be thought, action, input. After this, you either respond to the user or use a tool. Anyway, then begin. 
search wrapper is okay after defining our search wrapper with the SERP API wrapper you do have to put in your API key then we define a search function which just takes in a string for just this is the string to search and just returns the result of the search and we set the parser to be the parser which we have imported from pi expression eval then we define a calculator which takes in a string and parser.parse that string that evaluate and this actually returns the solution to that math problem we also have a save response to csv file which takes in a response which is a string and then opens and saves it to the responses.csv file as we have just seen then we define an agent function which takes in a starting message and we craft the chat completion style messages system message is going to be our prompt which is this long thing which we have defined after that we are starting with this starting message for the user and we are counting the tokens of each message with list comprehension here from the messages and the sum of encoding that encode for each message in messages content of the each message is our total session token so far because we do set the system message every time and then we start an infinite loop and then we define tool to be none we get a response from OpenAI using gpt4 in this case i just set this temperature to 0 0.3 and we are getting streaming responses this is the this is actually pretty cool anyway we want to talk about this, this gets streaming responses we append to to tokens used for this uh, for the current session for the current message we say tokens use zero then as we receive each token we append to it one then we get the response chunks of text we append it to responses so this is going to be our final response but then we actually print each re response token which we received with the term colors colored green and we do have to say n and flash through so that they all print in the same line then we append the tokens used to total session tokens if show token consumption that's the boolean we've set then we print token use this time token use so far and i guess this is redundant but here it is then we say action is we are using re sorry actually we're not using re but we are looking for where the where this expression is action equals then we split at that moment we take the second item of that list and then we split it again with the new line character and we take the first character so when we get action equals that then the then we're going to see if you look at the terminal action is response to human then it makes a new line which is slash n then goes into say action input so this is why we're splitting at the new line as well so we are only grabbing the response to human and for in this case the capital of france is berlin i was just testing something anyway and then we get those and then we check if action is search then we say tool is search action is calculator tool is calculator so on and so forth and then if action is response to human then we print the response we take user input again right here and we count that the tokens for that and add it to the total session tokens and if there is tool then we say observation is that tool whatever the tool is defined this is the function name and we even put the action input to that function then we get an observation we print the observation and then if user input that is if you if we have if the agent wants to talk to the human then we will have a user input if we do have a user input then we're not going to use a tool then we extend the messages with the user input along with what was returned from the openai's api otherwise we have used a tool and we extend the messages with the observation as the user content that's it and then we just run it and actually Let's run it with this. I think we did run it, right? Copper cost constant was in inches. Let's actually then run it with a math question. What is 13 times 13 divided by 5? I need to use a calculator. Good. Calculator is the action. Input is. And we get the observation from the function. And it outputs. Result is 13.8. And then we can continue to interact with it so this is pretty cool you can define your own functions you can change the prompt this is done entirely in python and open ai so feel free to play around with it and adapt it to your use case it's pretty awesome if you like the content please give it a and subscribe to be able to not be to be notified 
from future videos. I thank you for watching and see you next time. Code files for this project, along with 70 plus other projects, is available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Also, check out EchoHive AI Academy at echohive.live. Here you can find all the videos that I have created. Take a look at their descriptions. Find the download code download links. You can search them as well. And there are some links to some apps that I've built. It's echohive.live.